Hey, Red Eye, this is Craig Robinson. Check me out in People's May 10th. Thank you so much. Now that the baseball season is up and running, mm -hmm. uh, what message do you have for Nick Offerman? Um, about the Cubs Sox, how everyone's doing. Where, which, which video should I look in to say this? To go straight to Nick, Nick Offerman? Um, suck it. Sox are going to do it over your Cubs, so get over it. Both teams are terrible this year, though. Suck it, though. The Sox are going to get them. <laughs> well, Craig, I want to ask you, this is your first kind of big leading role, which is mm -hmm. so exciting. Do you, When you think back, was the, do you remember anyone ever telling you, like, it's not going to happen, you're just kind of like a supporting guy? Or what, what do you think about when you think about, wow, this is finally, like, the big guy on the poster? Um, you know, I've always been uh, encouraged. Uh, um, maybe a long time ago in college, a buddy of mine was like, I said something about wanting to get in comedy. He was, you know, people think people were like, you know, with the trepidation, like oh, it's tough, you know. But um, I don't, I don't recall anybody saying, you know, to my face at least, no, yeah, da da da, he can't do this, da da da. Uh, probably because I was already, you know, on my way to doing what I want to do. Yeah, I was gonna say, why would people have that trepidation? I'm sure you were just as kind of funny and big personality at that time. Too. Yeah, but in college it was like, it was, I mean, no, nobody went into comedy, you know, it wasn't like, like the thing to go into, that, that wasn't, what you don't go to college going, well, I'll be a stand-up, you know, so uh, I think that just was the thing, it was just so unheard of. <laughs> well, people on IMDb are having a somewhat ridiculous debate about whether Grace and Wade would actually ever get together in real life. Nice. How, how do you respond to that? Uh, Grace and Wade are together, so there's, there's no debate there. Um, <laughs> uh, in real life, um, uh, Craig Robinson, Carrie Washington, you know, Carrie is an amazing person, I, I, and I would definitely, yeah, I would definitely date her, so sure. <laughs> and I'd have to talk to her for the other side. <laughs> yeah, <that>. Exactly. <laughs> well, she talked about uh, that you guys fought like family on set. What's a, what's an example of that? What do you think she meant? Uh, I don't know, but you know, it was just a very real. You know, we kept it real. It was a real environment. We we sang together. We we played together. Uh, I don't remember too many fights, if any. I think one time Carrie was mad because I was texting, and she's like, oh, "I don't like that." Like, uh, you know, it was one of those moments where I probably shouldn't have been. <laughs> so she was right again, of course. But uh, so what? Did, how did you respond? I put my phone away. And sorry, bring just it back. Like, sorry, honey. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's what you do when Carrie Washington says she didn't like something. You, you fix it. Now that the office has come to an end, what's something you wish Daryl would have gotten to do? Um, I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe spank Angela or something. <laughs> nice sex romp sing. No, I, I don't. I don't. I don't know. There, you know, I, everything he got was a gift. It's like every, I don't know that they expected me to be around that long. I certainly didn't think I was going to be around that long. And certainly didn't think it was going to be, you know, to the point where I was in you know, all episodes and, you know, towards the end of the, the run. So it was, I, I'm cool with whatever why, he got. Why didn't you think that that would be the case? The, you know, it's, you don't, I mean, it's, it's, it's television, it's Hollywood, you don't know, I mean, each season is a is a new uh, okay. Uh, are we gonna get picked up? You know, it's always this this wonder wondering. So um, I you know I'm not writing it, and I I don't know what I'm doing till the table read in that instance. So I just didn't know. And you know, in people's you imitate the thriller video in a very convincing way. I was wondering uh, since we're on video, if you would have any interest in teaching me how to do that. Thriller dance. Uh, <laughs> And then, you know, um, don't get me, to, you know, messing it up. But, you know, the, the important thing is get that slide in there. And then, you know, all right. So I don't know if I can do that. Put the slides in. Yeah, that was, that was pretty good. All right. First one. Not bad for a first time. I mean, how? It was, it was all, you know, and you can do the beat. And then, of course, to all of that. Of course. How many times did it take you to master that? Well, I'm a huge Michael Jackson fan, so i probably 100. Do you ever find yourself just singing, Shamona? 
Yeah. How often? I would say several times a day, mostly before and after lunch, but uh, there's some other times it creeps in there. You want to bust, it out, bust out your favorite song? You know what? One of my favorites, um, Michael Jackson, is Butterflies. Do you know that? I don't think sure I know that do, one. Sure you do. I just want to touch and kiss, and I wish that I could be with you tonight. You know? I'm melting regardless of it. <laughs> no, that was, it was one of his later works, and uh, that's like, man, he still had it. You know, I was thinking about he's the ultimate showman. He had this tour coming up, and he passed away. And what's the number one rule of show business? Leave him wanting more. Mm -hmm.